Welcome vintage gamers to a vintage preliminary event. We're gonna we're gonna fire one of these today. Um get off work nice and early so I can actually uh, uh record for you uh with this what is going to be a sweet deck. What you see right now on the screen is a recent 5-0 that I put together with a fiend artisan cradle control deck. So you probably remember my vintage elves list that I helped build together with um with Newton, the, the Legacy Elves player. And ooh, I've been, you know, closely paying attention to what has been going on in the, you know, in that Cradle community over in Legacy. And I, I think that there's something to be said about the Fiend Artisan Cradle Control deck and the ability to tutor for Heat Bears. So uh, I talked with Newton a bit and we discussed what would that look like in Vintage and just recently 5 0 with this list. Not this list. This list, or I, I five would with a similar list. There are a couple more changes, but what you're looking at is a is a mono green-ish <laughs> cradle control deck. I'm going to use Fiend Artisan and Green Sun Zenith uh, to tutor up a variety of silver bullets. Scavenging Ooze, Collector Oof, Endurance, Opposition Agent, Leovold Grist, uh, uh, Collector Oof, obviously, and then you have four Deathrite Shamans, four Reclaimers. And three Alice or a Shepherd, so we can get the uh, uncounterable green spells. Uh, big one being Force of Vigor, allowing you to play against artifact combo decks. Uh, in this version of the deck, we are not, you know, so all in on Shepherd. I've decided that we wanted to play Ancestral Time Walk, uh, uh, Demonic Tutor, Misstep as just ways to increase the power level of the deck. We do have pretty reasonable mana, even though our mana is. Uh, it's whereas, how do I say? We have reasonable color fixing, even though our mana is a mess. Uh, because we are playing a uh, Dryad Arbor, which we can fetch off Green Sun Zenith, then we can use to sack to Fiend Artisan. Uh, we are playing a Reclaimer mana base where we're, you know, tutoring for Gaia's Cradle, but we also want to have the ability to, you know, get Strip Mine, Caracas Tabernacle, Wasteland. Um, and yeah, I, that's the, the, the idea is we want to play a fast Fiend Artisan. You know, interacting with Vigor and then tutor up the best hate bear that we can find for the matchup. And Opposition Agent, Grisp, Leovold, Scavenging. Uh, the big ones are Collector Roof, Opposition Agent, and Leovold. Whichever one of those is going to make our opponent cry the most, we pick it up. Also, um, Fiend Artisan is not uh, a green creature like Green Sun Zenith is. So we can actually play Archon as a, a tutorable hate piece uh, for the combo oriented decks, which is really, really sick. So we have uh, mostly graveyard cards here for the sideboard. We have 11 graveyard cards. Uh, crop rotations, ley lines, Yixid Jailer uh, in, our, in our land package. And then we have a Masked Vandal, uh, just like a Rex Sage type effect. Uh, some more Collector Roofs, because Collector Roof is really the most important one to help us get through those artifact-based combo decks. Uh, and then the Archon of Amiria, which is going to come in against those combo decks as well. Um, we've played this through a couple leagues now, um, and I've played a variety of uh, against a variety of decks. We've been doing pretty well against Deathrite Shaman decks. Beat Oath once, beat uh, Shops once, beat... Hogak twice, beat, um, uh, Oath, Hogak, Pia, uh, some green-white deck, uh, blue-red deck. So, the, like, the 5-0 the list was a, a spread out among many archetypes, which was really, really nice. Um, and so far, you know, struggled with the, the things that you would think this deck would struggle with. Uh, Doomsday, Sagalus Pio is very hard for this deck to beat because you don't get the Force of Vigor there, um, Sagas. Saga Pio, Pio with Sagas and, and Tinker Breach and those kind of things, like, they're very vulnerable to Force of Vigor, so uncounterable Force of Vigor is pretty good there. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get this prelim to fire, and then I'll see you in round one. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below, where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Boom, okay, fired a vintage prelim. We're up against SO63, powerful wizard, see what we can do here. What do we got? We've got a nice hand, uncounterable green cards. I'm definitely down to keep this one. Looks like I'll just go fetch a forest, play a shepherd, and pass the turn. Uh, we'll have to see what opponent is. Obviously, we don't have a vigor, so we're a little exposed to artifact combo here. We don't have a cradle, so we're not playing like an absurdly fast draw. Uh, but but this hand is probably keepable. 
Unfortunately, our time walk will be exposed to counter magic because none of our other spells will be exposed to counter magic, but that is kind of the downside of uh, combining Shepherd with non-green cards. So I'm looking at, I, I don't want anything to get countered really. So I do want to start leading with Shepherd, and then next turn we can look at something like Green Sun for Dryad Arbor and play Reclaimer, or if they're on like a deck that we really need to play Collector Roof against, then maybe we go Time Walk, hope to draw a land, uncounterable Green Sun for Collector Roof. That's a pretty reasonable play. Um, I have a really nice set of pictures from one of our, our matches where I have uh, an Allosaurus Shepherd in play uncounterably vigor my opponent's Saga and Soul Ring, and then untap and uh, uh, activate my Black Lotus and uncounterably Green Sun for Collector Roof the rest of their Mox and Mana. So that's kind of the, the, the things you're looking at uh, from, from the Shepherd Force of Vigor as interaction. So I, I do think that we don't want to overexpose ourselves to the possibility of a turn one Wasteland. Uh, which would be kind of bad for us. So I, th I think we'll just start with Forest. Get our Uncounterable in play, and let's see what opponent has for us. Our best draws are Collector Roof, um, Gaia's Cradle, um, maybe just a land so we can time walk. Things that... Uh, it actually depends. Like, Collector Roof might not be a good draw if our opponent actually isn't on um, Artifact, but th clearly they're on Artifacts. Uh, something that could be bad here is opponent just has turn one Tinker. Uh, we don't have the the answer in our hand. We do have two Besejus and four Vigors. Um, so there's a lot of answers. But we are on a, a bit of a slower start. So yeah, now I would definitely say um, Oof is our best draw, maybe... Uh, land is fine, because if we can resolve a time walk, then we could play an oof on the turn following. Basically, we, all we want to do right now is get an oof into play. Though an opposition agent will be a good one later, too. That's an unfortunate one, because we don't really have the mana to cast it right now. We do have the ability to fetch for a bayou, so... We'll see if opponent lets this resolve. If they have any kind of counter magic, they might choose to counter that, because it's non-green. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. So, looking for a land drop here. We hit an Endurance. So we missed on our land drop, which is very, very unfortunate. Um, I think we're just going to have to Green Sun for the Dryad Arbor, because I guess we could Green Sun for a Death Ray Shaman, which will let us play a Leopold on the second turn, or, uh, yeah. That might be better. Like, the upside of going Dryad Reclaimer is we're going to get us closer to Cradle, but the first thing I need to do is stop my opponent. And uh, currently, I don't really like our chances of doing that. So I think I'm just going to Green Sun for the the, the Death Rite Shaman. This way we can play an Uncounterable Leovold next turn, which will hopefully slow down our opponent's progress. The nice part about the theme, Fiend Artisan and then like... Um, Shepherd plus Green Sun Zenith is both of those kind of things are, are typically uncounterable, uh, which is really nice. So like a lot of the times, I've had a couple games where opponent has had a force of will, and you just go, well, I'm going to use my Fiend Artisan to search for the opposition agent, and you can't do anything about it. So I think we're really far behind in this game, obviously. We're super likely to lose. Um, our opponent had the ability to you know, look at their top six cards and, and find whatever would be the best card for them. Um, obviously, they have the ability to tinker for a Citadel with top in play. Mm, this is why I wanted a Collector Roof. Yeah. Um, this is another reason why I wanted the League of Old in play. But like I said, we, we just, we time walked and we missed on our land drop and we lost the game because of it. If we had hit Fetch Land um, or if we had hit Land, Green Sun for Oof, I think this game was probably going to be a win for us, because just getting a Leovold or an Oof in play against this draw seems like it would be very much winning. Um, but unfortunately, we just missed. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Maybe PO then, if there's a Mox Opal. I think we're just gonna. I just want to see a little bit more of their deck before I uh, concede here. Uh, 
opponent obviously has nine draws with this top, but they're already at a pretty low life because they flipped the Mana Crypt uh, loss. They lost a Mana Crypt flip. And if they do go for a Breach kill, we technically have Uncounterable Endurance. Though it kind of looks like they're on PO, maybe not Breach. But they have, a, they have a, a Volcanic Island in play. They could be copying Respect Cat's um, Grixis PO list that plays uh, two Volcanics in the main and then... Um, A bunch of pyroblasts in the board. Opponents down to five. I don't know what's going on exactly. Maybe there's a a chance we can lose or we can win this game. Glad I didn't concede. They're at four. We technically have two damage on the board. If they play no blocks. Do they time walk already? They have a time walk turn as well, right? Okay, there's a Lotus. Yeah. There's a key. They can't Yogwill. Oh, they have DT. Okay. Uh, apparently, they have some graveyard based stuff here and they couldn't beat two uncounterable endurances. Unfortunately, my opponent just has Vault Key. And so that's just going to win. Doesn't really seem that annoying. But maybe this means they are, in fact, on. Breach. I don't know how many grave, how much graveyard stuff we actually want to keep in against Breach. We're definitely going to bring in an Archon. Um, the question is, do we bring in this for another wasteland, uh, for more Saga hate? We're going to bring in Oof and Vandal for sure. Um, so the real question is, what's really bad here? Uh, I would say scavenging use is not really necessary. I would say that Grist is probably not necessary if they don't have a lot of creatures. Uh, I definitely like Opposition Agent. I definitely like Vigor. Uh, I might not bring in this other Wasteland. I haven't decided on that one yet. Uh, I don't think we need as many Reclaimers because we're not really super interested in using the Reclaimer as much as we are playing a little bit of a more of a controlling game. So I think what we'll do is we'll take two Reclaimers... And we'll bring in Mass Vandal, Collector Groups, and Archons. Do I want a Wasteland? Here's my big, biggest question. I think we're going to leave the three Endurances in, in case they're on Breach. Oh, I guess the Bog. No, we don't need the Bog. So we'll play a Wasteland instead of the Bog. Obviously, having Bog with Reclaimer is technically something good against Breach, but I think it's just kind of narrow. Uh, and we have enough Endurances to cover it. So something like this is like probably close. Yeah, this just folds to a force, unfortunately, so too much mana. This has very bad mana situation, but probably still a keep. I think we keep and we bottom. Can I keep this? If I were to go Besaju, Green Sun for a Dryad Arbor, and then Cradle, Fiend Hardison, I think I might just keep this and bottom this recall if that's not... It feels a little awkward, but uh, that is kind of how this mana is shaping out. This gives us enough green cards to Vigor if we need to, and then next turn we can always play Fiend Artisan and have Wasteland or Cradle. Like if they go Saga Life. 
Okay, just basic. So probably a green card would be a good draw, so we can hold up Saga still. Endurance, sure. Um, I don't believe... I mean, they could play Snapcaster, so better to not attack. I think we'll just go uh, Cradle Fiend Artisan. Because we're not going to be able to play Endurance off of... If we like play Cradle, that'd be only two mana. So now we actually are in a good spot. We have... Uh, one, two, three, four mana, and we can sack this Dryad Arbor and get a Hate Bear. We can get a Leovold or a Collector Oof. Um, so actually, probably in a pretty good spot. Interesting. Will I go Vigor here? We could also sack the Dryad Arbor and get a um, an Allosaur Shepherd to make our Vigor uncounterable. I kind of am worried my opponent is playing Paradoxical Outcome based on the Mox Opal. So if I went for a Vigor here, my opponent could uh, PO in response, which I think is really bad for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Wasteland the Talarian Academy and see what they do. Ooh, wow, that's kind of an interesting card as well. I have a lot of mana here. So I'm going to Wasteland the Talarian Academy and see what they do. And then if they... Don't PO, then I think we just want to get a Collector Oof. It's kind of unfortunate to get a Collector Oof with a Black Lotus in play. Maybe we Vigor them and see how much mana we have left over after all this. We could get an Opposition Agent, a Leovold, or a Collector Oof. I think... I think I'm gonna play the endurance off the lotus and just get a collector roof. I'll just do four, or just do three, just in case I change my mind. So, I have so many choices that are good. Leovold, Opposition Agent, Archon of Amiria. I think Collector Roof is just where I'm going to go with. I could have attacked for one again, but I think this is fine. So, every time I have a creature, I can turn it into the best hate bear. Um, so, we're in a pretty good spot, I would think. Time Vault. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is get a... Well, let's see if I draw a creature for... Okay, so this... Did I put the second Dryad Arbor in the deck? I took out the second Dryad Arbor. I don't have a second Dryad Arbor. Okay. So what I'm going to do is attack, and then I'm going to turn the Endurance into... A Demonic... Uh, a, an Opposition Agent, I think. I think that's better than a Leovold, because they don't have any black or red sources right now, so they will have to tutor for them with their fetch lands. So I'm kind of hoping to draw a creature for turn so I can turn it into, oh, they hit the red source. So now they have removal. They could also play a whole breacher as a blocker. I didn't hit a creature, man. That's unfortunate. I don't think I can attack and do a, a possible whole breacher here. So we might just be screwed. I really would like to have drawn a creature so I could turn it into a, a, a League of Old. I think if I attack with a, a collector group or an opposition agent into a whole breacher here, I will be super upset. So I'm gonna just gonna pass. If I had additional creature in the graveyard, I would just attack with Fiend Artisan, but... I damn holding up Vigor, which is nice, in case they had, like, Bolt plus Vault Key. <laughs> Game continues. They're off it. Okay, so we would have drawn more bricks. 
if we draw any creature, we turn it into Leovold, and then we just continue going off from there. This is like kind of a spot where you want to be able to get Grist, because then Grist can make a creature every turn for you to turn into your best hate bear every turn. And that's the that's the whole reason I think Fiend Artisan is good. That game was a perfect encapsulation of what this deck is trying to do in these these high power matchups. You want to have Vigor and Besage you as ways to interact with their dumb stuff, and then we're gonna take a, an artisan in play and search for the best hate bear every turn. Um pretty happy with that game. I am unsure if we want to... I, I don't think there's, like... I think usually you don't run out of creatures. So, And I don't think we're worried about Planeswalkers or creatures from their decks. So I, I just don't think Gris is the one we want in this situation. But that was good. I'm, I'm really happy because game one was, like, really annoying where we just missed a land drop and couldn't play. But that game was a perfect encapsulation of what this deck is trying to do uh, against these, like, the Tinker Breach decks or, or Tinker decks are the, some of the best decks in the format. This is a good hand. We have um, Vigor, missed up. If we find a, um, we can Green Sun for a Deathrite Shaman off their fetch land and then play a Archon of Emeria. We don't have any white lands in our deck, but we have Deathrite Shaman and we have uh, Fiend Artisan, so. And we have Black Lotus. So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty okay with this. I, obviously, if we get Flusterstormed, we'll be a little upset. I'm going to go... They won't have any um, wasteland, so I think what I'll do is I'll fetch. I want to get more things into our. Well, fetching does mean we can't fetch for a Dryad Arbor, which I guess is bad. It's like a really weird um, push and pull between the fetches and what they're trying to do and getting. Like we want extra lands in our graveyard so that our reclaimers are bigger, but we actually took out some took out some reclaimers, but we also want fetches so that. Our Deathrite Shaman is guaranteed to, to you know, make... We need Deathrite Shaman to make white mana, so... All right, I'm going to get a Deathrite Shaman. This way we can actually play our Archon of Emeria. And then... I'm still holding open my my zero mana answers. Yeah, uh-huh. And uh, Lightning Bolt. All right, definitely bolt, uh, definitely missed up in that. Hopefully this resolves. Yes, Awesome. Because we weren't going to be able to play our Archon. We don't want to draw our Archon because we wanted to come out from our Fiend Artisan. But, um, you know, desperate times, desperate measures. So we wouldn't have been able to play our Fiend Ar our Archon if we hadn't had a fetch land, which is good. All right, this makes white mana. Archon of Emeria. How does that make you feel? Resolves. Interesting. All right, so we have our Vigor up still. They can only play one a card a turn, and then we'll get a Fiend Artisan going in two turns. Uh, and we'll start picking up the other things. Uh-oh. I mean, if they if they demon if they uh tinker for a Besage uh a Sphinx, we do have only two outs in Besage you. For whatever that's worth. Endurance. Alright, so I'm thinking I want to play both Fiend Artisans so that I can sack one. Don't think we need to hold open. Oh, I can't play both Fiend Artisans because I don't have fetch. Okay, my opponent never fetched. Right, so I'm gonna get a Fiend Artisan going, and I'll hold open um, black so that I can maybe eat this Lightning Bolt. Opponent should probably gonna fetch now, I would assume. Oh, wow, they have Dress Down in their deck. That's crazy good. I mean, I guess we could lose here, huh? Um, I mean, maybe they're not even playing Sagas. Did we see Sagas in game one? That would be kind of unfortunate. PO, I think, is just incredibly better uh, when you play Dress Downs instead of Sagas. Dress Down is just an unreal magic card. Well, I actually think we're now probably not favored to win this game. Well, it depends, because they kind of have to beat us on this turn. They have a Fetch, a Brainstorm. They have some of their best cards. Um, they need to have, like, Tinker with Counterspell back up, but... We could also vigor this dress down uh, and unlock our Archon. Wow, maybe I was supposed to do that in response to the fetch, because then this would have entered tapped. Wow, I wonder, maybe I didn't even think about it. I just I just walked, but I could have hit dress down and emerald. Oh god, are we going to get breach killed? Demonic breach. Oh, they are, they are on Saga, okay. What is this? P.O.? So they're on, are they on P.O. Saga 
Grixis P.O. Saga with with Dressed Out? Is that what's happening? P.O.ing back Black Lotus Emerald. Okay, I'm going to hit... Both? I'm going to hit Emerald Saga. I don't need to hit Saga because I can Fiend Artisan and Fiend Artisan into a Mask Vandal. I'm just going to get rid of their cards here. They have Fluster as their last card. Or they have PO for two as their last card. Okay, I mean, yeah. So they draw two, they get their Emerald and their Dress down back. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They can't replay the Dress down or the Mox because of the Emerald, though, or the Emiria, though. So for me, my best answer is kill the saga or is there is there a better answer i have full reign here to get whatever answer i wish i could get leovold but leovold's not none of these cards are going to be good against dress down so i might as well just kill the saga i don't know Well, I can't even get three drops anyways, so I think I'm just going to go get a Collector Oof. I'm, this Dress Down is so good. Dress Down is just a great card. Uh, I guess we should just mask Vandal their saga. I guess like theoretically, oh yeah, because if they if I went for like um an opposition agent next turn, they still have dress down. So let's just mask Vandal the saga. <sighs> okay. So I'm still pretty worried. My opponent has four cards, Emerald, Dress Down. Dress Down is going to continually keep drawing them cards. Uh, I really like the way they played their turn, though, with the Dress Down into the PO stuff. Um, I would have gotten pretty re uh, wrecked by... <gasps> Wait, when they played their... When they cracked the fetch, did they have um, PO mana up? I don't think they did. I might have been able to really get them. All right, so if they're going to play Emerald this turn, that's the last card. And then they can play Dress Down at end of turn. I wonder if they'll dress down in my upkeep. No, they can't really do that. So I still could turn my Mask Vandal into something good. Or just Green Sun. Uh, am I worried about Hall Reacher? Not really. So I'll get in for three. And then Green Sun for a Leo which will basically mean they have to kill me the, on this dress down turn. I don't know if there's anything else I can do about dress down, right? I don't have in, instant speed interaction right now because I already used my vigor. Unless I'm missing something that I can do. Um, I'm really not seeing anything. I just don't know, is that is that setting me up the best? I could also green sun for Dryad Arbor and then gives me more things to do. I don't know if we need to be like hitting this Black Lotus with a Endurance so they don't breach kill us. I think it's better to well I guess I should have well I kind of I guess I should have gotten in for one I don't know hmm I think it's better to green sun than to use fiend artisan right unless I can do both 
So I can green sun for a shepherd and fiend artisan or and fiend artisan for a or I can green sun for a shepherd and a reclaimer. Try to get us to a cradle and maybe a, an elf pump for lethal. It's got to be worse than. Collector oof. I don't know. This deck's really, really hard to play. This is unfortunately sorcery speed. I don't know if I need to hold this death right up. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do Green Sun for Collector Roof. Well, I can't hold the death right up because <laughs> because of Dress Down. Oh, they didn't go for Dress Down. Okay. Hmm. Guess they didn't have a really strong play. Maybe I was supposed to try to get a shepherd and go for a uh, one, two, three, four. Try to get a, an activation for lethal, though we're pretty close anyways. Maybe I should have just been attacking with everything all the time. Would have given us more, more play. Oh, I'm going to hold that shit up. That's so good. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to get in with everyone. And if they hold Reacher or something, that's fine. Two, three, four, six, eight. Oh, it's lethal. Wow. Um, we got there. This deck's so cool. But yeah, all right, that's so cool. That, I'm, I'm so glad this was the first match and we actually got to show you what we're doing here. This is this is the whole point. We're trying to play basically um, Toolbox Hate Bears, which is, <laughs> I mean, so this is a weird range, but we're doing it. Let's see if round two. Okay, round two. Uh, this one has a lot of interaction, but uh, can't cast anything, so we'll just mulligan. Oh, we did get both of our splash cards here with no way to cast them. And then this one looks a little bit better. No interaction, but uh, we have all of the things we need to do to actually cast spells, so. Hopefully our opponent doesn't play something too brutal for us on turn one that we lose immediately, but that is sometimes the risk we we run with this kind of deck where we're only playing Vigor as an interaction. Um, I you know, wish I could take, you know, parts of my seven card hand, parts of my, ooh, is it just Oath? Ooh, yeah, okay. So this is probably going to be Rug Oath. Could be four color walkers, I guess. Um, unfortunately, what this Renna Six does is me it means we can't uh, play our Allosaurus Shepherd to make all of our spells uncounterable. But... Yeah. What I'm going to do is fetch a basic Forest and play Deathrite Shaman. This is going to expose us to Oath, but it's going to greatly increase our chances of being able to play Magic on the following turns if opponent doesn't automatically have Oath. Uh, they have, you know, obviously a very powerful start with turn 1 Renin, plus 2 Moxon. No fetch land, though, and no wasteland. They just have the Oath. Yeah, this game is going to be very difficult for us to win. Oath is a rough matchup because we are not playing... We're only playing main deck Vigor, uh, so we don't have the Vigor. Then we have nothing, and um, you know we're a creature-based deck. So... Um...
Missed a land drop. Uh, we need to hit exactly besage you to win this game, so I'm just gonna ancestral and hope to hit land besage you. It's like all we can really do here. Didn't hit besage you, so where does that really leave us? Uh, it, it leaves us with dealing with whatever they put in play, which is probably not going to be possible. We don't have Krakus in our main. Um, we might be able to theoretically go for, uh, Green Sun for Grist, depending on the answer. So what I'll do is get a Dryad Arbor and a Reclaimer, and I mean, that's not even going to work, but I can try, right? Oath is so brutal for this deck, especially game one. Okay, uh, protection from spells that are one or more colors. So do we technically kill that with a Grist, or no? They did hit a land off of this, which is... Oh, this is so good for us. We do... If they do kill our Dryad Arbor, we need to hit a land drop. I don't know if this says protection from spells. I don't know exactly how that works, to be honest. Uh, theoretically, if we hit a land drop, we can maybe go for the Gris play. It's not a very good long-term play, but... The Black Lotus, okay, so let's go for it. I don't know if this works, so I guess we're going to find out together. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go Shepherd first. So that our Green Sun can't be countered. And then we'll green sun. See if this Emrakul dies or not. Don't know what the answer to this question is, but we're going to find out together. If they keep putting Emrakul in play every turn, it's probably still not winning for us. Uh, all right, Sack Reclaimer killed the Emrakul. We killed an Emrakul, so that's cool. All right, well, we get to play another turn, which is fun. The problem is our elves are just going to get pinged off the map. I should have ate the... Ugh, I was not looking. I should have ate, I should have ate the, um, the Forbidden Orchard so that I could not have used my own Dryad Arbor here, but let's get our own Reclaimer going again. All right, so my opponent is going to get either an Emrakul or one of their other units again. And Emrakul again. Nine card. Shuffle away with Blessing. Shuffle away with Blessing is pretty annoying for us. I guess I should have looked at what those cards were. I guess I still can. Yeah, it looks like a Rug Oath list. Um, so, like, a way we can now lose this game is we don't get uh, the ability to... Like, if we drew Time Walk, right? We could maybe use our Death Rite Shaman Time Walk and... Um, You'll keep killing this uh, Emrakul until we find a Vigor, which it's just not going to work out. But, you know. All right, we didn't actually draw a Time Walk, so now we're just going to get annihilated and die. So let's let's go to the next game. Like I said, Oath is just bad. It's a really bad matchup, even with a bunch of, uh, you know, four main deck destroy target enchantments, uh, six main deck destroy target enchantments. You just have to have it, and you have to know you're playing against Oath. And we can't really afford to not play Deathrite Shaman, like, we, we had to play Death Rite Shaman on turn one, so. Our opponent is being very nice and playing Caracas. Or, sorry, and playing Emrakul. So, we get to board in Caracas. Um, they might board out Emrakul and play some Sarah's Emissaries. But Sarah's Emissary dies to Grist. Uh, so, they probably have to, like, name Planeswalker first, which is really probably awkward for them. Um, I don't really think that any of these cards are, like, super good against them. 
Like collector roof should be bad. Endurance shouldn't be very good. I think I'm going to keep an endurance just to have the ability to do the thing. Um, I don't know. I think I would rather have a wasteland than a bog. Uh, but I don't think we want like a crop rot. So let's go with something like this. So I played a match versus Oath um, last night, and it went very similar to this, where in game one, I didn't know they were on Oath, uh, so I got really, really destroyed by a... Um... You know, just an, an early Oath that we, I couldn't answer. But in games two and three, you have, you know, you know they're on Oath, so you actually get a little bit more, you know, leeway. You want to, you know, mulligan to hands that have interaction, that kind of thing. <sighs> Unfortunately, we have another hand where we have not a fetch, which makes our death right kind of annoying. But it does still look like the highest upside play, so I think we just uh, get the death right going. Like, if opponent goes for a fetch, then we actually have uh, a Green Sun Zenith or a Double Reclaimer. Like, Green Sun Zenith for a Shepherd might be reasonable. Ugh, they don't have a fetch. Wow. Unlucky. Um, unfortunately, the the I do think the Shepherd is very good against our opponent's deck, which is mostly based on counter magic. The problem is Ren and Six killing Shepherd has been very, very good. Uh, no, no significant counterplay for me on that one. And then opponent not having a fetch of their own here, which means our, our death rate's not turned on, is going to be a little rough as well. So we probably just have to play Reclaimer Arbor Go, which is not a big deal. We probably want to save this green sun for something better anyways. Not that there's much better. Our, our answers don't really line up with Oath super well, but this maybe green sun zenith can double as a, a, a mass vandal. A problem with Mass Vandal is uh, currently we don't have a creature in our graveyard. Maybe the Arbor will go into the graveyard and, and, and that will help us, but there's definitely a chance we don't have the creature needed to turn on Mass Vandal. Um, I definitely I talk with Newton a lot about whether Mass Vandal was better than Rex Siege. Jury's still out. The Fiend Artisan and the Dried Arbor make it a lot easier for you to do the Mass Vandal thing, so it hasn't been a huge deal. Time walk, okay. Another problem we're going to have is Oko is very good against their deck as well. Grist is like our best answer to, to Oko. They had another non-fetch land, which is really, really annoying. Uh, I would like opponent to stop <laughs> not fetching for their lands. <laughs> hmm. So I assume they're going to have a fetch land this time, though, as we're brainstorming. So, yeah, so this mass vandal could be a huge issue. Okay, here's a fetch. That's good for us. That gives us an extra mana next turn. I wonder if they'll play an Oath this turn. Uh, we are pretty much priced into Vigoring our Oath here. Uh, and then we don't... We do have the ability to... We don't have the ability to Mask Vandal because we don't have a creature in our yard. So... Uh, it could be really bad for us. We might actually want to keep this Once Upon a Time because it can get us to a Besage you, possibly. So, but we wouldn't be able to get a, a Rex Age either without hitting a land drop. So, okay. So I missed a land drop. I have three mana. Uh, I have a Reclaimer, which can go get us a uh, Cradle. I actually think that's probably our best line. <laughs> because that will get the Dryad Arbor into the yard. And I'm, that way I can green sun for a Mask Vandal. But what I need to do is I probably am supposed to once upon a time and try to hit a land drop. That just seems like a good use of our mana. I hit a cradle myself. Okay, that's really good then. So I get a cradle and then I can green sun for three. And then next turn I can still do... Um... I can still do kill a Dryad Arbor and get a Green Sun for Vandal, I think. So let's Green Sun for three and grab whatever the best three drop is. Probably Leovold, I would assume. Their deck is like super draw spells. Um, Leovold triggers off of Oath triggers. Um, Grist is probably pretty good as well, but I, uh, I think we want to just get Leovold. Also good against if my opponent wastelands my cradle. I guess if my opponent has wasteland on cradle and has an oath, that's quite bad for us. 
because then we won't be able to go green sun and okay so there's a wasteland are they gonna wasteland they're not going to wasteland they're gonna play a minx interesting uh okay so how do i feel <laughs> I feel like we're going to green sun for a Gris, kill the Boo, and attack. I feel like we could green sun for an Allosaurus Shepherd. And then we're actually one short of being able to pump. Hmm. It's a lot of options. This deck is really cool because it has a lot of options. And I don't know the right answers, so I'm trying to figure them out as we go. <laughs> Uh, we drew the Grist, which is actually bad <laughs> because we don't have a black mana. We're going to have to maybe sack our Dryad Arbor. Okay, so what we can do is... So if we were to go Dryad Arbor, Forest, get an Allosaurus Shepherd is five creatures, so we can't pump a Shepherd this turn. You need six. That's so gross. <laughs> we just needed one of these to be a fetch land. Okay. Um, so if we were to go Green Sun for a Shepherd is five mana... Um, three mana to activate. Okay, so green sun for a shepherd. And then I have five mana. Two to kill the dryad arbor. Um, and then... F no, do I need to kill the dryad arbor? I could technically kill the forest, right? Well, killing the dryad arbor would let me go be able to get a... No, does we don't want to do that. Because we don't we don't need to do that. We don't have a green sun for mass vandal anymore. Okay, so I, I kill off the forest and put a strip mine into play. Don't think I want to get a Caracas yet. And then I have an uncounterable Grist here. So, oh my god, I tapped all my things. So I actually just have to kill the Minx instead. That's unfortunate. I wanted to kill the Boo and attack, but I actually had to use all of my things. Did I not have to use the Dryad Arbor mana? Wow, what a punt. What did I use the Dryad Arbor mana for? No, I used that to Green Sun. Um, so I might have had to. So I guess I will just sack. I guess I will just sack the Dryad Arbor. Well, the Dryad Arbor is actually providing me with the ability to pump my elves next turn. So let's sack the Reclaimer. And kill the minx. All right. So the grist actually makes my cradle more, which is really sick. Um, though, oh, but now if my opponent wastelands my cradle, <laughs> I don't have a reclaimer to get another cradle. Okay, so I should have sacked my dryad arbor. But I do draw a card, so... I did, did forget that small. Oh, they drew Oath of Druids off the top. Okay. Well, we get to draw a card off the trigger. Uh, oh, wait. No, we don't get to draw a card off the trigger. Okay. So I need to draw up a Seiju or Green Sun Zenith. Uh, man. They drew Oath, huh? It's super bad for me. This enters... Hmm. Okay, so I have to mill my grit with Grist. I milled the sage. <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. 
I milled beside you. Okay, uh, I play my Mox Jet, and then I play... Uh, Archon of Emeria. I mean, the first one is just going to Sarah's Emissary on Walker, right? Unfortunately. And then we're pretty cold. I also don't have Reclaimer to get... Ooh, I, I, yeah, Sacking Dried Arbor was super bad. I should have kept Reclaimer so I could get Caracas as well. Oh, boy. I threw this game pretty badly. I think this game was just winnable. We do get to draw off this Oath Trigger, so that's nice. Uh, Fiend Artisan looks a little late. Let's see what they put into play here. They put in a Grizzle Brand. Okay... Uh, well, Archon's really good against Grizzlebrand, because they can't play more than one spell a turn. And Leovold's very good against Grizzlebrand, because they can't draw more than one card a turn. And Grist is very good against Grizzlebrand, because it's gonna die. Okay, wait, this game continues. I didn't know they played Grizzlebrand. I thought they had cut Grizzlebrand. Um, alright, so we actually are going to continue here. They can play one spell this turn, they can't draw any cards, and then we get to actually kill this Grizzlebrand. We don't have this Besaju still, which is a problem. Uh, we can eat the Grizzlebrand away, or we can maybe eat the Gaia's Blessing. How is Gaia's Blessing worded? Gaia's Blessing. Can we eat the Gaia's Blessing in response to the trigger? How does this work? Uh, when Gaia's Blessing is put into your graveyard, shuffle your graveyard into your library. So that won't, I can eat the guy's blessing, but that will still shuffle. I think that's how that's worded. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're going to kill the Grist so that we can't kill the Grizzle Brand. No. And if we block, I guess we can block with Archon and all of the dudes. And that means they can actually play more than one spell and things are not uncounterable, but we, at least we... We answer things. So they get to kill Archon and uh, Shepherd. Uh, I actually think... Should I, should I Strip Mine? I don't think Strip Mining is good. I think I would rather just have the ability to get rid of it later. <sighs> okay. Man, this game's rough. I, I just, this, dry, this Dryad Arbor is going to kill me. <laughs> I, sh I needed to keep my Reclaimer in play so I could get a Caracas. Uh, I think if I could get a Caracas this turn, I would actually be in really good shape. Man. So I kind of want to draw Beseju or Cradle. Okay, here's a spell. Is it an Oko? Oh, it's a Narset. Okay, I don't know if I care about a Narset too much. Let's see what they do with a the Narset. Emerald, sure. Okay, so... I drew Vigor. Can I card cast it? Oh my god, I can hard cast it. Okay, so... Sack. 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 I, I, I just gotta, I gotta go for it, right? But I kept my strip mine in play. Yes, it resolved. All right, then I get to attack Narset. Okay, I think we stabilized. Next turn, I could like eat the Grizzlebrand if I need to. How many oaths are in the yard? Three of the four oaths are in the yard right now. Wow, it's really good for us, right? Oh, this is the Oko? Okay, are you going to turn off my Leovold? I'll make a food, okay. We can't kill the Oko. Uh, 
cradle. Wow. So, yeah, cradle, fiend artisan for sure. And then I am going to strip mine this. And then the question is, I think I just all attack on this Oka. Oh, wait. Okay. I think I just all attack on the Oko so that I have a better chance of killing the Oko. Like, I could attack with Death Rite and Dryad Arbor and kill the Oko. I, that might be worth it. Damn, this deck is really hard to play. I guess I have a Fiend Artisan that can attack as well if I want to, but I feel like the Fiend Artisan is going to get me something good. I wonder if they're going to elect to make a blocker or turn off Leovold. I feel like Leovold was really bad for them. Like, I mean, they have to turn off Fiend Artisan, too. I don't know. Like, depends on how good my, my threats are. I don't have Grist or Archon or Leovold anymore, so I don't actually have that many good things to tutor, right? Like, I'm not going to Endurance them. The thing I would probably tutor for is a uh, Allosaurus Rider, or Allosaurus Shepherd, so that I can pump my Elves. I might be able to do that this turn, depending on... What I have. Fetch. Okay, so if I were to go um, two mana, three mana, seven mana, I'm one short again. Oh, I could activate my Death Rite Shaman. Uh, and I could make eight mana to go get Shepherd and activate, but then I, I'm only attacking with one creature. Um, but that might be good enough because it's going to make them block with their food token anyways, and they'll put a Shepherd in play for next turn where we'll have three Elves. It could be better just attack with Fiend Artisan, but then we're not making any progress, right? So... So, I don't have Archon, don't have Grist, don't have Leo. What do I have? I do have um, Opposition Agent. It's like kind of it, right? And Reclaimer. I could get a Reclaimer. No, I think what I'll do is... Turn this Dryad Arbor into a Shepherd. And then... Uh, I don't want anything to go wrong, so I'm just going to do it now. I don't know what could go wrong. Maybe something could go wrong. All right, pump this and attack with my Leovold at uh, Oko. So then they have to chump with their food token, and then they probably have to hit Alice or Shepherd with Oko, or they will die on the next attack, because this will be six mana to pay. So I actually have a lethal attack on the next turn, which is sick. All right, we actually got a win there versus Oath, which is a really nice... Um, opponent put a Grizzlebrand in play, and Grizzlebrand, uh, could not beat Grist Leovold. <laughs> oh, man. This has been a really, really fun prelim already. Uh... I don't think I want to make any changes. Like I said, I think we are definitely the underdog here. Um, if my opponent had flipped into uh, a Sarah's Emissary and named Walker, it would probably have been very hard for us to win. We just don't have very many answers to Sarah's Emissary. We can't really let Oath go off most of the time. 
Uh, this hand has a lot of answers to Oath, so I'm going to keep it. It also has uncounterable answers to Oath if they don't play Oath on turn one. Um, obviously, this hand is weak. doesn't have a lot of mana, but we have a Once Upon a Time to hopefully fix. We are very weak to Ren and Six with this hand. We have a lot of problems. There are a lot of issues with this hand, but I don't think I'm going to uh, be allowed to mulligan a, a double vigor hand. Is this just an Oath? Oh, it's a Walker. Yeah. That's so bad for us because this kills everything. <laughs> I mean, my opponent has had uh, on color Moxon red and six in games one and three on turn one, which is just so bad for me. Uh, no reason not to wait until we have more information. <sighs> I think we need to take the other fetch land. I mean, I want to take Reclaimer, but I'm too worried about not having mana. I think, I think Cradle, uh, yeah, I think I want to just take my other fetch land and get two basics here. Uh, I don't think I want to get Dryad Arbor. Actually, I do. I'm going to, uh, wait, no. I'm going to play... Alice or his shepherd so that I can play Fiend Artisan on the next turn. Uh, and the Fiend Artisan won't die. It's kind of the worst Alice or his shepherd of all time, but maybe they won't kill it and they'll try to play an Oath of Druids instead. That'd be fun, right? <laughs> they they have also had um they've had Renin Six, but no fetch list twice as well. They have Oko on turn two. I mean, this game is so washed. Oh boy. My opponent had turn one, Ren and six, turn two, Ogo. That is not good. Yeah, I am not feeling good about this game. All right, let's get this 2 2 Fiend Artisan in play, and then we could maybe Green Sun for a Dry. If we hit a land, we can like Green Sun for a Dryad Arbor and then turn it into a one drop, like a Reclaimer. I don't I mean, how are we going to beat this Oko? It's just not possible. We have to grist the Oko is the only way. I mean, we can maybe grist the Oko. It's not It's not the worst thing that could ever happen. I will probably vigor the Ruby and the food token if they do anything with them. Like, if they were to try to swap for my Fiend Artisan. That would be a really good one for us. If they swapped for Fiend Artisan, that would be great. Um, They don't have any fetches, huh? That's crazy. We don't have fetches. They could have wastelands, but we have two forests. That's hard to say. I'm not going to write this game off yet, but it does feel like it's the worst possible draw we can play against. Two things. Yeah, they went for the swap. Wow, this is so good for me. So I'm going to kill the ruby and the food token, um, and that will cancel the swap, and I can attack and kill the oko. So that's so good for me. Wow, that's such a big win. If they don't have a second Oko, oh, they have an Oath. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have the Mask Vandal, but I probably am supposed to use Vigor in case... Because if the Mask Vandal gets countered, I won't have an opportunity. Um, so I will Vigor your Oath. The bad problem with the Mask Vandal is it will expose my Fiend Artisan. Uh, but the good news is my opponent went for the worst possible... Well, not the worst possible. They went for the greediest line, I would say. Or maybe they were, maybe it was... Uh, you know, Maybe they chose to do it so that they could bait a Vigor. That's not unreasonable, I guess. I, I don't know at their hand. If they chose to do it for a bait Vigor, like the only, reason, the only way they got punished was double Vigor or like Vigor plus Man Vandal, so... So I, I can't play this Vandal. I'm going to hold this Vandal for a second uh, Oath of Druids anyways. And I'm going to hold this Caracas so that I don't get Wastelanded. Um, so we've stabilized. Um, we're not in a good spot, but we have stabilized. Forbidden Orchard is a kind of fun one for us because... Uh, oh, they have a fucking Minx too. Ah, it's so bad. Uh, because uh, the Forbidden Orchard gives us a spirit token that we can sack to Fiend Artisan and powers our Gaia's Cradle. But the, this is actually not bad for us because we have Caracas. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, are they gonna hold this back to block? So I can still get hit every turn for four if I wait. No, I can just wait until after their upkeep. Wow, okay. No, they're gonna kill the spirit token with the Ren, okay. This does mean the Ren is almost dead. Okay, they're putting all their eggs in the Minx basket, which is not unreasonable, but we have our Caracas. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to once upon a time. Don't see any reason not to. Uh, op agent. I'll just take the one I can cast. Yeah, all right. I'm going to attack Renin 6. Wish this was a 3-3. Three, three. But we didn't get able. To, we weren't able to get the Dryad Arbor, and then we play Caracas. So now, uh, after our opponent's Minx trigger on the upkeep, then we'll bounce the Minx so that they can't draw. So this Minx trigger happens. We let this Minx trigger resolve, and then we Caracas the Boo, and then they don't have anything to do until they draw Wasteland for Caracas, and they only have one card left in hand. So let this Minx trigger resolve. And then bounce boo, and then F6. And then we can kill this Ren, theoretically, unless something bad happens. They had a fetch land, okay, the game continues. This game could be winnable. Wow, if we win this game, that'd be crazy. I do think my opponent should not have swapped with the Oko, but it's hard to say, because it does beat a vigor for their oath. Well, when my, my opponent can find a Wasteland for Caracas, and then we have to beat Minx and Boo, which does seem challenging as well. All right, they didn't draw a Wasteland. Uh, I can't cast that. So what I'll do is see if this gets countered. Didn't get countered. All right, attack, kill Ren. I guess it's... I think, yeah, they could have Hardcast Force as their last card. All right, so Ren has been dealt with, and currently these will kill Minx at some point. And if I just keep bouncing Boo... Man, we're playing a game of Legacy here, bouncing Boo in the upkeep, huh? All right. I mean, we have an answer to Oath still. We have a dead Demonic Tutor because I don't have any lands. They have a bunch of mana. They could actually cast Crystal Brand here, but we have a Krakus. That's still bad for us. No, they have hard cast Grizzle Brand. You've got to be kidding me. That's so brutal. I thought we won this game and they top deck Black Lotus hard cast Grizzle Brand. Mm, wow. Maybe we can win by attacking. They have Wasteland! No, they won. They actually are going to win this game off a of hard cast Grizzle Brand off of Lotus. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, man. So if we draw a Gaia's Cradle, we can get a Grist and kill Grizzle Brand. That's what we can do. So if we draw a Fetch, uh, not Fetch. We, mm, man. We were so close. We don't have any mana. We needed a Gaius Cradle in this game too, huh? Now they're going to actually Minx and Boo us out of the game as well. This was such a good game. And then everything fell apart. Damn. Um, what's the best play? Oh, they did have to hit Wasteland off of that Grizzlebrand activation, too. I think if we bounce the Grizzlebrand, we probably are winning. So 
So I'm trying to figure out if uh, activating killing our spirit token is more useful than playing a death ray. I guess I could get a get a dried arbor and a death ray. Oh, but I didn't draw it, so. I actually just died a Grizzlebrand attack and fling. That's so sad. Uh, wow. Let's see if they see it. They probably see it. I can. They can fling any target. Yeah. I just had to dodge the hard cast Grizzlebrand. Damn. 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 I'm so sad. I thought we had it. I. I mean, I do think. Like I said, I think we should never have been in a chance to play this game if opponent just plays conservatively with Oko, but... Man. Yeah, they saw the line. They saw the line. <laughs> uh, damn. GG's. All right, round three now. Sandy Dog across the table. Probably oops all spells, I would assume. Uh, which means a pretty bad game one, but more playable post board. Uh, I actually think that this is a keep, which is probably surprising to you. Maybe not. But we have an interactive spell. I I'm going to assume my opponent's on oops all spells. Uh, I have an interactive spell, two interactive spells, uh, and I can... Hopefully once upon a time for my mana. And uh, this is a risky one, but this is part of the, the game you play. Uh, opponent has just been on mostly oops all spells. And I think the matchup is bad enough where this is the kind of hand that I would be interested in keeping. And um, I hope it works out. Another hand I would be like really interested in keeping is um, turn one death rate shaman. So that I could eat the Thassa's Oracle with the death rate shaman. If they didn't kill me, if they, if they didn't kill me on turn one, right? So if I'm on the play, I could go fetch land Th death right shaman. If they don't kill me on, on turn one, then I might have the ability to you know death right eat the Thassa's oracle so it gets rid of the the, the balustrade spike part of the combo. Um, and I, maybe it's worth being because we're on the play. Maybe we actually are just supposed to mulligan to turn one death right shaman and hope they don't kill us. I think the turn one rate of oops is pretty pretty damn high though. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to wait till Sandy Dog comes back and I will see you all then. And he came back right when, <laughs> right when I said it. So we're back. And let's do this. Uh, I'm going to once upon a time and try to hit a fetch land. Hit a fetch land. Awesome. Hit a death rate shaman too, but the fetch land is the, uh, is the important one right now. Uh, if my opponent is not on oops all spells, obviously things get pretty dicey. I'm going to get the Tropical Island so that I can cast the Time Walk. I do need to hit a land, obviously, on my top decks, but I have a free Vigor and free Misstep, which is something. If I'm going to get murdered by the deck with all... Alright. I can't really show them what's going on. Maybe it'd be really bad for us. I think we just misstep it. If they have like dark ritual and kill us, we'll be sad, but yeah, so they are on oops all spells, so I do not hate what I did. All right, they're gonna they're gonna continue forward. Uh I need to hit a land here and then another land. Okay. That's that's something. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so let's just time walk. And attack. And then if we... Oh, we have Bajuka Bog. Oh my god. I shouldn't have... I probably shouldn't have time walked. I probably didn't need to. That might have been unnecessarily risky. I actually can just hold open Vajuka block. I didn't even think about that. Wow, my hand got actually way better. So here I'll hold open a Reclaimer slash Once Upon a Time. I probably even will Reclaimer if um, my opponent doesn't go for a combo. Just get like a third land in the... Well, no, I'm going to be always holding open Reclaimer. So I'll probably just post it Once Upon a Time. Are they going for it? We can't exactly beat Char Belcher. Unless they pass the turn with Char Belcher. They went for Char Belcher. All right. So I can kill a Char Belcher now. They should have played this LED first. They have a force. Yeah, if they had played this LED first, I couldn't have done this. But because they played the LED after the Char Belcher, I actually have a force of vigor window. Let's see if they have a force backup spell. They didn't have a force backup spell, so opponent made a slight miss miss sequence there, which lets us continue on. Um going to just cast once upon a time. Uh, oh my god, there was a Pajuka bog on top of my library. That would have been bad. I'm just going to grab the Cradle. And hopefully we hit a one drop or something. Mm, didn't hit that. So I, I still have to just pass and hold open my Reclaimer so that I don't get um, spied. The good news is the bog is on the bottom of our library now, though. Uh, and we can, like, rotate this cradle if we really want to maybe into another cradle uh or maybe into a dried arbor so we also have a clock with our mana crypt which is nice or their mana crypt which is nice so i don't know if i mean i know that sandy doesn't know my list uh because my list hasn't been published yet might be able to assume i have a bajuka bog actually they might be able to look up my old elves list and see that i played bajuka bog in the elves list so might have an idea that uh, I have a uh, a Pajuka Bog in my deck. Um, I think the answer here is to just get a Dryad Arbor off of this Cradle, and then I can turn. Um, I guess I could get a Strip Mine. I don't think that's necessary, though. I'm just going to get a Dryad Arbor, and then I can turn my fetch land into a Cradle. And that'll get me pretty close to playing Leo. I think it's probably better that I strip mine, though. I can just attack with the Dryad Arbor this turn. We have a Mana Crypt, we have a Dryad Arbor. We are progressing. Lost a flip down to 10. Uh, they can play a, uh, ooh, okay. Do they have a second Char Belcher in their deck? That'd be quite bad for me, right? So, I don't think there's anything else good to search. So, it would just be getting more lands in the yard. Yeah, I think this is just fine. Hit another cradle. All right, I'm just going to play this fetch land and attack for one. And then next turn, we should be able to play Leo. 
I'm like a little worried about this DT. If they like have a second Char Belcher and hit a mana source, then they can go Char Belcher crack and kill me. But I, I don't have counterplay to that, do I? I don't really think I have count. I have Collector Oof in my deck, but I haven't drawn Collector Oof or Green Sun Zenith. So if I had drawn Green Sun Zenith, this game would have been very easy, right? We'd have been able to just um, play a Collector Oof or a Green Sun Zenith, and then we would be fine. I mean, I guess this game, like, we, this game really should have been unwinnable because my opponent just missequenced their Lion's Eye Diamond. I guess not technically they missed it because I, I guess that's not true. I just kind of realized this now. But if they play their Lions, I die. No, then they can just with the chart belcher on the stack, they can crack it. So I think they just missequenced their Lions, I diamond, right? All right, time to find out what opponent tutored for. I think opponent tutored for a uh, goblin, the second goblin char belcher, and they're waiting for a mana source. And we don't have additional wastelands in the main, unfortunately. Um. No. So I don't really have any way to stop that line besides, you know, draw Beseju, draw Collector Oof, draw Green Sun. Let's just go with um, a Cradle and hopefully we draw Green Sun Zenith. Drew a Reclaimer. So I can go... I can just go blue, black, green. What? The blue, black, green. Leo. New cradle. Reclaimer. And then this is their last turn to draw land and Char Belcher me. So our Dark Ritual Char Belcher me also works. Okay, um, like I said, I think we shouldn't have been a, had a chance in this game. And then once we had a chance, I feel like we were in a really good spot uh, just to, like, draw one of our two... Like, uh, draw Fiend Artisan or draw a, um, a Green Sun Zenith for an oof. But those didn't happen. But we're not in a bad spot because they've had a Mana Crypt. We've been attacking. We still can't die to Graveyard play. Um, the strip mine draw was actually pretty good because it made it so they can't play this. I, I'm pretty sure they demonic for second char belcher is my assumption. So if they hit a, if they hit mana we lose uh, to char belcher right, and then if they don't hit mana we win, attacking them for lethal. If they don't draw mana and they have like um. Undercity Informer, they might still go for the Graveyard play, in which case we can show that we have Bog. I feel like they kind of got unlucky in this game after they... after they missequenced. Yeah, I'm pretty happy to take that game, because I think this match is fairly difficult and it gets better post-board. So we're going to bring in uh, Jailer, uh, Archon, uh, Mask Vandals, uh, Collector Oofs, um, Dixa Jailer, Endurance. Oh god, we had Endurance too. Wow. Yeah, they, it's really hard for them to do the- Never mind. Game one might actually be good for us. We have Endurance, <laughs> Vigor. Yeah, wow. Game one might have actually been pretty reasonable. So, I actually think in general we don't want this strip mine, right? Um, and we do want Bog. And we don't need a Grist. And I don't think we actually need a Leovold. Uh, opposition agent seems fine. Scoos is probably... Well, it's weird, because I think these reclaimers are actually not great. That's kind of weird to say. Maybe we don't play Bog then. Which is really weird, but uh, we have four Endurance, four Leyline. We might just not need it, right? I think that might just be fine uh, if we if we take out all the reclaimers here. Maybe we want to keep one reclaimer in for our green sun zenith, and then we'll trim on. Um, we'll just trim on. This is actually not a time walk match, which is interesting. Though ancestral looks fine, 
then maybe we just trim out a fiend artisan it's kind of an interesting board plan we kind of are boarding in a lot of stuff this is an interesting idea though let's try this i don't i'm not sure this is my first time playing the matchup it's weird to board out reclaimer bog well maybe we want to yeah but i i do think that with endurance ley line we probably don't need that anymore Uh, so I'm going to mulligan this hand because it doesn't have turn zero interaction. So I'm going to mulligan this hand. I really would like to see maybe a hand with a ley line and um, an oof or a ley line and a vigor. Like, oof is very good here. Uh, oof is going to stop us from getting Charbelchard and um, ley line will stop us from getting um, Dread Returned. So, I, actually, you know, I, I'm going to have to take it back. I really think we might actually just have a reasonable matchup against this deck, which is weird to say with no forces of, of will in our deck. I mean, obviously, we are still a little bit lacking on turn one protection. So if they have like a very powerful hand, it's going to be problematic. And we definitely will lose some amount of games like that. But the cards we do have are not bad. Like, I just didn't even consider the endurances. But um, endurances are sweet, especially when they're uncounterable. Uh, let's a mulligan. They also are mulliganing. This hand... Ugh. See, this is a really cool hand. Like, it, it, it would be good if my opponent wasn't a turn one, turn two deck. Um, but the problem is without a Moxin in this hand, uh, or like an Elvish Spirit Guide, which we're not playing, but we could play Elvish Spirit Guides. Um, it's, it's hard to play because I think if you had an Elvish Spirit Guide or a Moxin, you'd probably just keep this off the back of turn one oof. Um, like I, I actually think that like turn one death right into turn two Archon or oof is probably very good in this matchup, but it's just too slow. Um, th we're playing against pretty much the fastest deck in the format. It's not even like a very good deck like oops all spells is a playable deck it's a it's a deck you can choose to play and and you can win tournaments with it but it's not a very consistent deck and it's also a very vulnerable deck um so it definitely pays for its uh its uh power level uh, my opponent is keeping their six we're gonna mold a five and we're gonna keep this one this one has a vigor and it has a turn one collector roof um i'm gonna put away the Demonic Tutor and the Forest, because I need the green cards. It's kind of crazy. Um, This is good, though. I mean, it's not great. Like, our, we can, opponent can still kill us on turn one with um a Spy. Like, I don't have a Ley Lion, and I don't have an Endurance in my hand. So with with neither of my eight Graveyard Hate cards, I can die to Spy. But it's, it's, it's probably likely they push to four Charbelchers. I'm not sure if they're on four Charbelchers post-board, even though... We have oofs and vigors. Vigor might not even be that good against our opponent's deck, really. Um, maybe I'm like completely over evaluating how good vigor even is. Like vigor is probably the worst of our hate cards. I would say endurance, ley line, and oof are the better ones. You would still play vigors in this matchup, though, right? I would have to think so. Like, there's just, like, I feel like Vigor can be sequenced around correctly. Like, you hold your Moxins in your hand, and you and you don't play your Charbelcher before playing your LED, and... <sighs> yeah, maybe Vigor is not what I, what, I, what I actually wanted. I didn't really consider that, how weak Vigor was in comparison. Hmm... 
we I mean Fiendartican is not great in this matchup. We should maybe board more out. Um, the good thing is that if Fiend Artisan does live a full turn cycle, you probably just get to put in a card they can't... Well, if you just get to put in an oof, right? Fiend Artisan is more copies of oof. After board, we have three oofs, four zenith, three... Ar I mean, we have like ten oofs in our deck, right? Oof is probably the best card. Like, a Collector Oof in combination with a Leyline of the Void is what we're really looking for. Leyline is turn zero interaction that stops their entire graveyard plan, and then oof is, is stop all their other stuff. Okay, chat. Yeah, it's probably bad for us. Yeah, I mean, if they have the combo, they have the combo. We didn't have a ley line and we didn't have an endurance. We have eight turn zero interactions for this combo. <sighs> Man, brutal. Uh, but we just don't have any in our hand. I, I don't think this hand is a mulligan, though. Has a turn zero. That's not great. But it's like if our opponent was... Mm, and it has an oof. So let's see what they boarded in. Uh, they boarded in... Yeah, four char belchers. There are negations. There are a ton of chain of vapors. Three chain of vapors. Uh, where's the dreader turn? Oh, there's the Dreader turn. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we also had Death Right, which could be Graveyard Hate. After, like, we could go... If we drew a green source, right? If they didn't kill us on turn one, we draw a green card. We can go Death Right, Collector Roof, green source, hold up Vigor, and then we have the ability on the next turn to have Death Right eat. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right. Yeah, the only way we're beating that is if we had an Endurance or a Ley Line. And we mulled the 5, and we didn't find it. We kept a reasonable 5. So you have to just take the L sometimes. Oh, Sandy, 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 playing four or five matches of magic at one time. Come on, we could bang this out. It'll be real quick. Just hit accept and we'll, we'll battle. Is this, this is a reason why 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 Sandy chooses to play oops all spells? Uh man. I don't think we can keep this one either. We have uncounterable vigor, but like I said, uncounterable vigor and Vesagey was uncounterable as well, but it's just it's not gonna work. We need our ley lines and our endurances. Where are our ley lines and our endurances? <sighs> Mulligan. I can't I just can't find them. This is unfortunate. I think we've drawn very underwhelming in this set, unfortunately. I can't keep these hands. They just don't have enough interaction for oops all spells. Alright, here's a ley line hand. Uh it's a ley line oof hand. And we can once upon a time and hit a mana source. Yeah, I guess this is the four card hand we're keeping, so. Just need to hit a land here, please. Or I guess that's not true, because Gaia's Cradle is not castable. It doesn't cast anything. Can we hit a Dryad Arbor? <laughs> uh, all right, I will take this land, uh, and then hopefully in the future we will be able to... Wait, 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 no, this does work. Oh my god, this is sick. We end of turn fetch a Dryad Arbor, and then we use Arbor Cradle to play Collector Roof. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Are we just dead before then? That would be a sad day. I mean, we mold to what? Four? Oh, that's it? That's good for us. Fetch. Dryad Arbor. 
cradle second oof nice no force awesome all right so they have no mana they have a mana crypt attacking uh triggering them we have three power and then we'll have five power i think we're winning this game oh they hit the blue source for chain so they can chain collector oof oh they can ancestral okay so I don't know if chain will be enough. Oh, if they have force plus chain after this. Uh, okay, let's do reclaimer. Collector oof. Okay, dope. All right, so now we have double oof. And a ley line and a mana crypt. I want to flip. Man, if we pull this off after mulling in a four, that'd be pretty sick. So, are there any things we can re reclaimer for anymore? I don't think so. The only thing, the reason I left in reclaimer is so that I could have, uh, you know, I could tutor it to maybe get a besage, uh, to get a cradle. Like I took out wasteland, unfortunately. If I had kept in strip mine or wasteland, it would have actually been quite good here. I don't know if that's like enough merit. Are they gonna take three to play this? So they could go three dark ritual, play the balustrade spy, um, and that way they can block. And then we probably need to get our Reclaimer to a 3-4 to attack. So we'd probably like rotate out um, Triad Arbor for a fetch land. And then we can fetch land and attack. So they did take three. Are they? I assume that means they're going to play one of their creatures to block. Or maybe Time Walk, sure. Oh, Demonic Tutor. Okay, so... If my opponent gets a Chain of Vapor, Chain of Vapor is my Ley Line, and then goes for a Graveyard combo, they'll win, because I don't actually have Bachuka Bog in my deck. But we won't tell them. We won't tell them. We're going to play it all the way out, and I'm going to actually try to hold open Reclaimer to act like I have Bajuka Bog. Um, that should be a good enough. I can't imagine that our opponent would try to play through it if we have Active Reclaimer. Oh, now we could just get... I don't know. We don't have... Um... We can't get Opposition Agent. We can't get Jailer. We could get Deathrite Shaman. But I can't actually hold open uh, Cradle Activation. Um, so what am I worried? I'm worried about chain. I could get Fiend Artisan and then get, um, Jailer. Ah, this is really, wait, what about, um, No. I think I have to act like I have Bog, attack for five. They might die to Mana Crypt, and we can attack back and win. So I'm just going to act like I have Bog here. I think that's the only way. And we actually can get a fetch land, which will make this lethal even if they win the flip. We can turn the Dryad Arbor into a fetch land, and then that'll be two, five, seven exactly. Oh, they don't just they're just off it. Wow. I I sure hope that. All right, so I'm thinking maybe we do want to keep in Reclaimer and Bog. Hard to say. I'll take it though. 
Okay, fourth and final round of this prelim. We're up against Wizard 2002, so we're going to test our Dredge matchup, which is a good thing. I definitely want to test this matchup. Um, we're looking for a Paseju. Yeah. The only thing that would make this hand better is... Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that would make this hand better, but this is a good hand. I'm going to go for a turn one Reclaimer, which will be able to bog my opponent. Uh, and I can besage you there. Uh, I can besage you there, Bizarre, because I have Mox Jet. I'm going to hold the Mox Jet. I'd like to, you know, like play Shepherd so my Reclaimer is uncounterable. But... I really want to... Well, I guess I won't be able to bog them on turn two, right? Because I'm going to have to besage you. So maybe I will. Maybe I maybe I will go Shepherd and Jet. And then next turn I can go Reclaimer and Besaju. And hopefully the Reclaimer is enough later. Yeah, actually. I actually think this is fine. I'm gonna play Jet now because they're more likely to counter Jet later if I play it after Shepherd. I guess this exposes my jet to getting vigored or something weird, but I think that's fine. Okay, so we continue here. Our opponent is probably going to activate Bazaar and pitch some cards. And then we need to choose... Well, we have to see how many hollow ones they have. That's the first problem. Um, Reclaimer becoming a 3-4 might be good enough to deal with one hollow one. And we have to see how many dredgers they hit, because that's the second problem. Um, we'll see, though. I do think that it makes sense to play Shepard first. So one dredge for an Icarid, a Hollow One, and a Prized Amalgam. So that's not good. But the Burclaimer does block Icarid fairly well. All right, so Reclaimer and... Uh, I can just make, yeah, it's fine. We can go with the tropical and then we'll besiege you your bazaar. All right. So I actually have a three, four reclaimer next turn. So they only get one dredge here. Let's see if they hit. Oh, I guess they don't get the Icarid Reclaimer unless they eat the Golgari Thug. Wow, I didn't consider that. Okay, so if they want the Prize Amalgam, they have to eat the, their Dredger. In which case, I, I don't know if that's even good because we'll take it 7 this turn, but then we'll have a 3-4, so... Okay, so they did chose to, to mill, uh, to, to Dredge, and they hit a Chill, which is bad. <laughs> and they also hit a Bridge. Uh, we can chump and kill this Bridge... I don't think I'm ready to do that yet. I think it's very likely that I'll just eat their whole yard with this Reclaimer. And double... Oh, they have second Bazaar! Yikes! <laughs> All right, this is gonna be a challenging game now. It's gonna be a challenging game. Uh, this doesn't. This oh man, this triggers bridge. Oh, so good. Oh uh, yeah. All right, so we probably need to draw our. Uh, oh, they have two bridges. Oh my lord. We probably need to draw a strip mine off the top. Because we have to... Uh, my opponent's worried about Tabernacle, but we don't have a Tabernacle in the main. Uh, 
think I'm just going to have to take some hits here. See if they held a dredger, I guess. They still have a pretty decent army. Oh god, what did they they just noxious revivaled? Their grief took my mental misstep and then they noxious revivaled the second bazaar. <laughs> so they're gonna have double bazaar. No. <laughs> this is going so poorly. Wow. And they hit a dredger on their first activation of bazaar. And they hit a dredger and they hit a dredger. Wow, we're just we're just dead. Uh we are just dead. Am I allowed to make this block? I would go to six. Uh, I think, uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, if I have, I can get a, I can get an endurance, but it's just not going to be good enough. All right. So, yeah, I... Unfortunately, Leovold doesn't work against Dredge. It would only work if they have no Dredgers in their yard, which I haven't really had a window for that. Unfortunately, here, I also don't have good blocks. So if I have another Endurance, then they don't have actually... This might still be playable. Kind of need... Oh, scooze your daddy. Uh... Or another Reclaimer? The problem is my block is going to have to be double block hollow one. So I will lose. Yeah, so I can take Scoos, but I can't use it this turn. Oh, but I'll die to this stupid Icarid. I'm going to die to this Icarid anyways. All right, I'm going to take Scooze, play the Fiend Artisan, and hope they don't hit the Icarid, I guess. <laughs> or do I know that they're going to hit it? I don't know. It's fine. I'm, like, kind of clinging on to Dear Life here. The Icarid comes back. It's really bad for me. Uh, yeah, so the Icarid's coming back. And they hit Creeping Chill. Okay, all right, yeah. So that, yeah. Ow. Dredge is really, really brutal when they have two bizarres. They had two, three bizarres in that game, huh? Or did they not have three bizarres in that game? They have two bizarres? I don't know. Whatever it was, it was bad for me. 
Either way, we get to board in 11 cards. So uh, four ley line, two jailer, or sorry, a jailer, a wasteland, a tabernacle, an endurance, a vandal, two crop rotations. And then we don't want vigor. Um, we don't want, we might want Leovold actually because of um, how much graveyard hate we have. Um, and then we don't want walk, ancestral, misstep. I don't think we want any of that. Uh, I do think we want bog and strip mine, obviously. I do think we want reclaimers. Um, I think we should be fine with dealing with the board. We probably don't need a grist. I'm not 100% on that one. And then we want demonic. I think we just go with two less shepherd. I think we just have one shepherd. Let's try that. I don't know. I haven't actually mapped that out yet. Uh, this is... So much mana. I think I'm going to mulligan it. Like, it's good. I can play, like, Reclaimer, but if I get forced so bad... I'm going to mulligan this. It's just... I can get... I can do better. This is better. <laughs> this is, in fact, better. I'm going to put the Vandal back in our deck. And then we have a Ley Line. We have a Besaju. We don't have the ability to use our Besaju, but we have a Jailer. We have a Tabernacle for a Hollow One draw. So they ended up keeping a 7-card hand. No, a 5-card hand. Why does it say they kept seven? Maybe that was last game. I don't understand. Uh, I am just going to get a Bayou so I can play my Jailer with it and play a Reclaimer and see if Reclaimer gets countered. Didn't get countered. Okay, so... See if my opponent has Vigor. No, they have Contagion. Okay, well, they didn't Contagion my Jailer, so that's a plus, I guess. Um, I hope we hit a land and we can besage you Bizarre. That would be ideal. They have a Vigor here. What's this? Yeah, so they, have, so they had Vigor for my 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 volt ley line and Contagion for my guy. Uh, so if we don't hit a land, I think we have to play this Jailer, I would assume. Oh, we hit a land. Do we still play the Jailer? We might still play the Jailer. I think we still play the Jailer because of their current mana um, card situation here. <laughs> Hit the hollow one. But we just have tab. <laughs> My opponent is not a happy camper in chat. <laughs> I told him it was only an 11 card sideboard. <laughs> oh, I don't even want this collector roof. God, I missed the collector roof too. I think I'm going to put the grist in. And then. Sorry, I forgot the collector roof. I don't know why. Um, definitely keeping this hand. The question will be how many ley lines? I guess we just play one ley line. And then we can play the second one off death right maybe later.
Okay, no hollow one. Probably just... Oh, now I think we're actually probably supposed to play Deathright Shaman. So that I can assuredly play a Besiege you. And that seems more important than playing a Reclaimer. Yeah, we have a lot of sideboard cards for this matchup, huh? They have a Vigor. Oh, they have a Contagion. Okay. Contagion's good, but we have just so many things to Contagion. That does mean we can't play a Besiege next turn unless we draw a land, because we'll probably have to go Arbor Reclaimer. I wish we had Deathrite Shaman for sure, but... Let's see, no Hollow One still. Alright, Reclaimer's coming in, Dryad Arbor's coming in. Pass. Up to three cards, down to two cards. They can't really go for Hollow Ones because we have Reclaimer for Tabernacle. So yeah, they pitched a hollow one here. So now... Probably hold everything. In case they go for an end step vigor, I can still hit this besage thing with besage you. I think the answer is hold everything. And then if we don't have to do anything, we could theoretically get a Cradle, which should be a lot better for us. And if they do, you know, go for the Vigor here with their last two cards, we just hit the Bazaar with it, and then they're at zero cards with nothing. Yeah. That should just be game. All right, so they had zero cards, and they have no Graveyard. And we have Reclaimer Dryad Arbor. We can get a strip mine if necessary. Oh, we hit the cradle. Wow. Okay. So let's get reclaimer and uh, uh let's get a Leovold. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of hate for Gredge. It might be too much. We're just talking about a couple of different lines. Opponent was talking about if they kept seven, maybe they win this game because they could have Wasteland for Bayou. That might be, that might, could definitely be true. I was talking how I could have fetched a forest, but I wanted to be able to set up Deathrite Shaman into second ley line if they were to vigor me. There's a lot of different things that you can change. So yeah, not a bad prelim. We're going to get published off of this. We'll be 3-1, only losses to Oath. Oath is Oath is going to be challenging for us every time. Um, that means I probably will post this on Twitter, seeing as it'll get it'll get posted tomorrow. So All right, we got there. We might be overdoing the dredge. We could definitely be overdoing the dredge matchup. That's that's definitely possible. Uh, and I bet if I showed this list to Wizard, they would say we'll be overdoing the dredge matchup. We already have like some very good answers. I just have a 
Currently, I think Bazaar is like just incredibly, incredibly strong in Vintage. Um, and it's really easy for this deck to put in cards that are good against Bazaar. And it's really hard for this deck to put in cards that are good against Combo. So you can see we have like, um, you know, Oof, Oof, Ameria as our Combo cards. But then we warded in like 11 cards. Maybe we have, we're maybe overdoing it. But like, I don't know what else to put in my sideboard. Like, uh, I can put another Gris for more grindy matchups. I can put in... I, but the, like the the problem is the cards that are good against um, the combo matchups are just non-existent. So what I might do is I might change the two crop rotations and make one a grist for a more grindy matchups. So we can board it in and make one of the crop rotations. Like uh, <laughs> Wizard didn't even see crop rotation, and we had that in our back pocket as well. Um, I think if I boarded it in correctly, uh, and, and um, we can try to make some of our our worst matchups more playable. Oh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'm probably going to play this deck a lot more. This is exactly uh, the kind of deck I enjoy playing. Some kind of brew that has a lot of power to it and a lot of choices. New Magic Vintage content Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on my channel, 11 a.m. Eastern. I'll see you then.